I deeply respect Hillary Clinton. I think she's a great intellect with great fortitude. I think she was a strong Secretary of State, a hardworking and effective senator. But I've come to a difficult realization. I don't want Hillary Clinton to run for president in 2016. I do not think that she is the right person for this moment. Back in 2008, when all my peers were jumping on the Obama bandwagon, I backed Hillary. The country was reeling from a disastrous eight years of President George W. Bush. We were desperate for competence after his incompetence, for respect for government after his disdain. We needed, in my view, a capable hand. Hillary Clinton was a fantastic fit. But that moment has passed. We are now in a moment of existential crisis as a country. We are recovering slowly from the Great Recession, but as we pick our heads up and look around at where we're heading, we don't like what we see. Only 28% say the country's headed in the right direction. 67% are dissatisfied with the wealth distribution in this country. And as corporate profits soar to new heights, working folks get the shaft, sharing in virtually none of the gain of recovery. It's clear now that we have two economies, one for a thin slice of educated elite and one for everyone else. That is this moment. So I ask you, does Hillary Clinton sound to you like the right person for this moment? In a time when corporations have hijacked our politics, enabling them to reap all the profit without feeling any compunction to do right by their workers, is someone who sat on the rabidly anti-union board of Walmart for six years the right person to restore workers' rights? In a time when we're still reeling from a global financial disaster brought on by foolhardy bank deregulation, is someone who recently took $400,000 to give two speeches at Goldman Sachs the person we need to wrest control of the asylum back from the banking inmates? Someone who at those paid speeches reassured the masters of the universe in attendance that they were being unfairly persecuted, that in her words, the banker bashing was unproductive and indeed foolish. Someone whose husband, by the way, did much of the deregulating that got us into trouble in the first place. In a time when we badly need to be inspired and rallied and made to believe that America can once again be true to the American dream, we need someone who is mission-driven, who is clearly passionate, living and breathing and feeling in their bones the plight of the worker, of the middle class. That person is not Hillary Clinton. Here's the person that I want. Now look. You built a factory and it turned into something terrific or a great idea. God bless. Keep a big hunk of it. But part of the underlying social contract is you take a hunk of that and pay forward for the next kid who comes along. I think, to be clear, that I would back Hillary with all my heart against any Republican, and I would even support Hillary over most Democrats. But her entry into would likely keep out Elizabeth Warren or another real middle-class champion. So though I admire and respect Secretary Clinton deeply, I must say, don't run, Hillary. Don't run.